keeps me calm. Painting is therapeutic for Teresa Sever. If I'm, I'm having a lot of racing thoughts or, you know, can't seem to settle down, I could paint. It gives me something to focus on. Teresa suffers with schizoaffective disorder, a mental health condition with symptoms of schizophrenia and bipolar. You know, it's difficult. Uh, schizoaffective is a hard diagnosis. I was in a lot of hospitals. Work like hers by someone with a mental illness or in an institution is sometimes called outsider art. It became painting. Her struggle yeah, is was, often I visible, as in these self-portraits. I decided to paint my um, emotion, and that one's called sorrow, and the other one is called sadness something that could have been but wasn't. Some of Teresa's work is now exhibited here at Wellspan Philhaven. She was hospitalized here for about five months in an inpatient unit. She created the 12 portraits with titles like Lavender Lady and Mellow Yellow during her hospitalization. I see a lot of uh, emotion and a lot of color. Activities director Gretchen Leinbach says they tried to nurture really. Teresa's talent. She really needed to have uh, an outlet for her issues. It's nice that people could see my paintings and like them or just have an opinion on them. Whatever that opinion, Teresa hopes her paintings make people feel something, whether it's happiness or sadness. Susan Shapiro, News 8. Teresa's work is on display at the Grace M. Pollock Training and Community Center at Phil Haven in Mount Gretna, Lebanon County. It is open to the public. Now.